ground, right? We gotta find that entrance right there. All right, now that I have it marked on the map, we're going back out. Boom, it didn't save it. Oh yeah, it did, yeah it did, sweet. Sorry, y'all. That's like one of my favorite movies. I saw it. Do you know Aaron? Oh, we. Oui. Petit asshole. Inside the church. Okay. That's cool. I remember that one. Yes, this is to get the original entrance into the catacombs. Okay. When you first start the DLC. This is the way to get in. Oh no, I'm stuck. No, I'm not stuck. No, don't be stuck. Sneaking, there's only a couple of guys. Cause I'm a dumbass. Oh no, you know the rules. <laughs> All right, 
this is the original entrance to the catacombs that they have you go into from the start. Um, alright. So, now we need to figure out where these chests are. Ah, <sighs> easiest way. Go in, make a right, whatever, either right or left, it doesn't matter. As long as we get to here. Alright, let's do that. Really? You guys are actually here? I killed y'all a long time ago. Why do you respawn? Now watch them all just... They're just gonna scurry like roaches. See ya! They bug out. They bug out. As soon as you kill the head guy, they just bug out. I love it. Alright, so we're gonna go this way. There's the big guy. Boom. Got him. Looking. Okay. Yes. As you notice, you may have noticed, if you haven't completed um, the sequence, the main sequence in the DLC, um, I have a lantern on my left hip that will continuously stay lit even if I jump in water and all of that good crap, right? So the oil never spoils. It's a special lantern actually earn at the end of the main sequence. And I'm not gonna give away any spoilers or anything. Just when you get, when you do earn that Magic lantern, so to speak. Yes, you. You're a Boom! <laughs> Bastard. Uh, it does have something special inside. Let's just say that. Let me go. No. Please. Please let me go. No. Oh, when you run with the bad crowd, guess what? <laughs> guess what happens? Huh? Do shit you don't even want him to do. I want all I want you to do is climb this wall. No, I want you to get up here. Okay, there you go. I know you can do it. I got faith in you. Alright, we gotta find this red chest that's over here in the corner. Are you 
go. Oh, I get a mortar bomb and thirty thousand dollars. Yeah, 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 boy. Where's the big man? There he is. Smoke bomb time. You see, they just, they're like, oh crap, get the hell out. Alright, where's the chest? It's on the other side. This is only a two prong. So I, I'll probably get a, a couple thousand, maybe ten. Ten grand. All right, giggity giggity goo. Works for me. All right, now, as you can see, there's a whole bunch of bats flying around. This is where your lantern comes in very handy, because to scare them off, in order to cross, you have to scare them off with the lantern. If you don't have a lantern, guess what? They don't get scared, and you can't. Oh, and that's another thing. I just noticed, if you just saw, I kind of scurried along the wall, kind of like did a wall run before I grabbed that rung. That reminds me a lot of uh, 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 Prince of Persia. Original Prince of Persia. Used to love that game. I think that was actually my first Ubisoft game, was Prince of Persia. And then, um, uh, sorry, I'm drawing a blank here, Splinter Cell. Hello, Sam Fisher. Who, uh, oh no, wait a minute, where is that chest? I went right past it, what a dumbass. And then after Sam Fisher was um, AC. So, from the beginning, brother. From the beginning, AC, all the way. Excuse me, I apologize. Brother or sister. I don't want to be tagged as someone that is feminist or or an unknown non-feminist or whatever the hell it is nowadays I don't even know I'm an old dude I don't give a damn so we just made a lot of money just getting those chests love it so that is pretty much what I wanted to show you. Um, one, kill the boss man first. The guy with the, the red diamond above his head with the white star in the middle. Kill him first and all the other dudes scurry like frickin' roaches. They're little cowards. Um, get as many of the red chests as you can. And I said this in my previous video, but you can actually go back and forth between Paris and Franciad. Uh, earn money. I think it's after sequence six. Again, don't, don't, uh, don't take my word on that one. It's just a guess, if off the top of my head. Um, but you can earn a lot of money here. And I just wanted to also show you the guillotine gun to where, I mean, it is literally a, a mortar bomb. If you've ever been in the military, you know what a mortar is. Uh, this thing works the same way. It's like a, a, you know, it's like an M203, a grenade launcher kind of thing. At the same time, it's also, as you can see, a battle axe, heavy weapon. So it has dual purpose and it's badass. Anyway, other than that, I'm out. See you.